Hello and welcome, Sevlin here. Let's play a little bit more of our Vandals campaign here in Europe Universalis 4 with the Extended Timeline mod, where I am just basically waiting out a truce to beat Rashadun now. Rashidun. Instead of the Mughals or whatever. I'm thinking they just keep taking... They probably have missions to... Like I could form Germany. Because I own this area here. I can form Germany. I'm kind of curious why I can't form like Great Britain or something but it's possible if I was Germany I may be able to or something I don't know so anyway probably has something to do with our main culture maybe I took enough of their main stuff that they had to they switch cultures or something who knows but they've switched names three times now they were Parthia no, two times, sorry. They were Parthia, then they switched to Mughals. Now they're Rashidun. So, who knows? Let's see what kind of missions. Claim Hama, which I really don't need military. Sorry, a culture, I'm not spending Diplo. And I could get take this Incorporate mission. Which I will be doing eventually. Just not yet. Alright, speaking of that, I do have... Wait. Political map. What happened to my vassal? What happened to the Mamluks? That's really strange. I should have paid attention to that, I guess. I I had them vassalized. And they're just gone. Very, very weird. I would have been called the war. Okay, well, anyway... That's interesting. I'll spend a bunch of points to to break them up. So that's a bunch more points I'm gonna have to spend to re-break them out. Interesting. Not good. Oh well. Alright, so I really don't need this policy then. Let's get rid of this. And that's one extra point a month I'm going to get. Incorporate Byzantium. Lots of military points, and so far I've been... Well, I'm only gaining one a month. It's not too bad. Let's see, how far off am I? 17 years? That's not too bad. Okay, why can't I convert that other one? Probably because it's not a core yet. That should be any minute now. It will be a core. Let's see. I will lose the legitimacy. Yeah, I'll lose the legitimacy. That's fine. There it is. Truce with the Byzantium. How much longer? Well, with me, it's more important. It's the same, though. Uh, October 11th, 631. Hey, I'm gonna be able to go ahead and fight them. My other truces. Hey. Rashadin expires in still a long time. Oh, rise of a nearby tribe. Excellent. Ooh, nice. I will take the manpower again. That's a freaking large tribe. 
Eh, it's not as big as I think. There's, this is just one province, right? No, it's two. Why isn't there a name on this one? Okay. What should I do here? I think probably start fabricating clips. Especially since I can fabricate claims on almost all of them. And... Where's my army that's hanging out in Muscovy? Oh, probably taking care of these armies. All these rebels. Speaking of rebels, before I cap my military points, that is definitely something I can do, is do some harsh treatment. Especially there, holy crap. And there's fine. And that's several months worth of not getting capped out. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at building situation again, since I have been kind of leapfrogging all of these. See if we can get caught back up. And I don't want to spend a ton of admin points. But I will go ahead and do something like this. Okay, good enough. Yes, I will accept the royal marriage there. Um, let's take you up here. Actually, you know what? I could just let my... Nah, I don't have vassals anywhere near, so I can't just let my vassals do this. Fabricating claim. Improving relations. They're already plus 200. I have a claim here. Let's fabricate another claim. Or go to war and see if I can vassalize. Nah, screw vassalizing. Let's just take another claim. Let's claim everything. Alright. Declare war. Take that. Bam. You. There. Uh, gain a stability. I don't need a stability. Or a bunch of army and navy tradition and military power. I really don't need military power. Before I take this, what I can do is... Well, that's probably why I am not gaining any military power right there. But anyway, let's sort by shock. There we go. This guy. No more longer leading troops. They're fired. And I'm fine with a plus one here. Let's go with that. I like the two siege. Ah, let's get rid of him. No leader. Let's merge you up. Go back here. Let's get rid of this guy. He has plus two siege, which is quite nice, but I have another plus two siege. And now I need military power. <laughs> here, I'm going to just detach the siege and move you back to... Muscov. Muscova. Muscova. Well, our agent was discovered. That's unfortunate, but you know, it happens. Bunch of random events. How's this doing? There we go. Let's fabricate another claim on you. I'm going to take you over pretty freaking fast. Just need to get the claims done. I'm going to try and squeeze this little war in before the other big war.
Full NX, done. Bam. Make you a core. Or I forget and do something else. Move you here. Only level six military tech, that's ridiculous. Probably have pretty much free technology at this point though. Because they're so far behind. Speaking of free, there's some free manpower. I am going to hit the cap pretty fast here. Let's see how many years ahead a time of tech I am. 13, so I will be getting to start to take these techs pretty soon. About five or six years. Uh, national revolt risk. Yeah, I'll take the national revolt risk. That's fine. Excellent. Um, may as well keep fabricating claims, I suppose. Wherever. Okay, well, as soon as that claim finishes, then I will go ahead and start the other claim. I'm going to go ahead and grab this land maintenance guy. Get plus two military tech since I'm not ahead anymore in that. And then I'll be able to get that military tech a little faster because I'll pay 999 for it if I can. Okay, speaking of that, actually, I didn't even think about this. Well, there's my manpower. Way more than my manpower, actually. So it's definitely time to do something. There's my diplomats. Let's go ahead and fabricate another claim here. There's the last place, which means I'm going to give that a couple of ticks. There's some more free manpower. Um, we're losing claims all over the place. Well, that's unfortunate. I want claims on all this. Let's give that a couple of ticks. Okay, it's at 20%. That's good enough. Let's grab a decent leader for this guy. So we can decent leader. That looks good enough to me. And let's declare war. Declare war on you. Take whatever. And wait a few days. Fabricate a claim on Acre. Definitely on Acre. All right. You go down here. They have a lot more troops than I thought they did. Okay, go there. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and take the 16 guys. Wherever those are, I'm sure they'll get taken care of. Just watch this hostile sieges over here and make sure it goes away eventually. There's my core. There we go. Alright, split in half, move there. You split in half, move there. You split in half and move here. And siege these things up. Um, let's do if it moves, tax it. I have full man uh, manpower. Speaking of full, I have full, um, Admin power snuck up on me there. Shrines here and here. Do some more warehouses. Haven't done anything along here, but those are like not not worthwhile at all. Because I'm guessing they're overseas.
I thought I did these already. Maybe I did this with something else. There we go. Good enough. There's one siege. There's another one. There goes a great man and just handing me manpower at this point. I'll take the morale of navies. Sure, why not? All right, full siege. All right, let's take this. It'll give me 132% overextension. I can't take it all anyway. Um, so, let's get this bigger one out. Now, let's take a little one out. All right, good enough. And then, well, that's unfortunate. What if I do this and then could I vassalize them? No, I cannot vassalize them. They're too big. So I'm going to have to take a few and then vassalize. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to take these two here. Actually, I'm going to take that one. Take some cheap ones. If I sort by war score, that's going to be... That one and that one. Go ahead and split it. Yeah. Let's do that. That's fine. Done. Fine. Alright, let's go. Make sure I get cores on all these. Excellent. You guys go here. Um, harsh treatment, all these. For some free manpower. I lost my king. I have an heir. That's terrible. Awesome. So, no diplo power for me. Just in time for me to decide to annex uh, a country. I'll do the stability cost guy. Go ahead and fabricate a claim on the one I can fabricate a claim on. Where? Oh. Gotta wait for my cores to be able to do that. Let's do if it moves, tax it. That's fine. And I am just about ready. Why is nobody going there? Invest in base tax, that's fine. That set that one behind quite a bit. That's fine though. Just wait on this one. One of these to finish. Keep fabricating claims down here, actually. Let's see, do I have Sidon? I do not. So I definitely want Sidon. Nope. I'm capped on Diplo points. 
I need to improve relations to be able to do anything here, unfortunately. But I'm going to go ahead and build a couple of roads, I suppose. Um, buildings. Let's do the basic road. Plenty of Diplo power to annex. And in fact, I don't necessarily want to annex right now. I wouldn't mind fighting this war one more time first. And letting them help. Let's see, 30 admin. Revolt risk. I'll take the revolt risk, that's fine. So many revolts. Come on, cores. There we go. There's two two of them. So that means I can fabricate claims here. I'm gonna keep this guy around for a little bit. Really? Oh, I already have a claim. Why am I being dumb? I have a claim on the one I can. All right, fabricate a claim. Uh, Damascus, why not? Go. a quick look to see what other claims I might want down here before I decide to go to war. I could release the Mamluks again. I really wonder what happened there. Release the Mamluks again so I could take that. I should claim these and this for sure. So Sivas is next. Hey Tex. Alright. We are going to go ahead and take this. Infantry shock. Excellent. There we go. Fabricate claim on... Civis. And much manpower. Piss them off more, yeah, that's fine. And I suppose it could be time. Yep, definitely taking that. I think it's time to annex. I think so. I'm gonna go ahead and get that started before I go to war. That way I'm not tempted to buy that uh, technology. Lose the stability to lose a f inflation or... Yeah, I'll gain inflation. That's fine. Let's see, is that inflation going up or down right now? I don't have the leader that takes inflation off. But it is still falling. Pretty good. But we'll go ahead and reduce it, though. Let it fall naturally from 1 instead of from 3. It's just handing me manpower at this point. That is fantastic. Let's see, are they still allied? No, they're at war with Kushan. Oh, excellent. Go beat up your armies. Speaking of armies... Let's see... What are they called again? Kushad? Here we go. I have a lot of manpower. That is being lost very, very quickly. Oh, they are out of manpower. Excellent. And they just built a whole crap ton of troops. And now they're losing them. Cool. I will take a look at that again later. Conversion. Rebels. Convert more things.
gain a stability. Um, yeah. Sure. Excellent. Okay, let's get this leader off here. I don't need him there. I have a leader there. I want a leader here as well. And why not on this one? Excellent. Actually, no. Not there. Since he's by himself down here, we'll grab a leader and put him there. Take a look at this ledger again. Alright, so Rashad is actually kind of beating up on them a little bit. Or they're just... Oh, they are losing. Kashan. Occupied by Rashad. Oh, Kashan has... That's weird. They have a little province right here in the middle. I didn't know about that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Let's grab this one more thing to convert. And next time, uh, we should be probably doing our final war against Rashad. I keep calling it Rashad. I guess it's Rashidun. Rashidun. Probably do one more war. Just kind of take this coastal province here. And that might be about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot more to do here other than just like what I did this whole episode. Which was just kind of sit here and build up stuff slowly. Hope a little guy splits up and creates a you know, place over here so I can take it. And that's kind of, kind of probably pretty boring. I mean, oh well, anyway, next time I'll declare the final war. That may take an episode or two to resolve itself. I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.